Hey there car enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel where we dive into the latest and greatest in the automotive world. I'm your host, Ayo, and today we've got something electrifying to talk about. The 2025 Dodge Charger Muscle Coupe, it's turning heads even before hitting the production line, and for the right reasons. So buckle up as we explore what's under the hood of this beast. First off, let's talk about design. The pre-production photos of the 2025 Dodge Charger are a testament to Dodge's commitment to muscle and style. Moving away from its traditional four-door sedan, the new Charger comes in a stunning two-door coupe form, echoing the design cues of all the electric Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept car. The iconic Fritz Zug symbol proudly displayed, this car is a nun to the past while zooming into the future. But here's the burning question, what's powering this beast? Dodge has been playing their cards close to the chest, leaving us all in suspense. The photograph are T's with no visible exhaust pipes and Daytona branding that could hint at an all-electric powertrain. But is it all-electric or are we looking at the hybrid or even gas-powered muscle car? The plot thickens, my friends. Let's dive into the possibilities. On one hand, insider reports and semi-show revelations suggest that the Charger could spot Dodge's new Hurricane inline-six engine in both standard and the high-output variants, and even whispers of a four-cylinder version in development. On the electrified front, we're looking at a potential EV powertrain Train, ranging from a modest 400 horsepower to a jaw dropping 885 horsepower in the SRC Banshee model. That's enough to get any car lover's heart racing. So what's it going to be for the 2025 Dodge Charger? An electric powerhouse or a turbocharged gas guzzler or a blended boat? Only time will tell. What we do know is that Dodge is gearing up to revolutionize the muscle car scene once again. Stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to the Charger's production launch later this year. For now, let us know in the comments what you think Dodge has under the hood of this mysterious muscle car. Next up, we have the mid-size trucks, the perfect choice for those who want the utility of a pickup without the massive size. 2024 is an exciting year for truck enthusiasts with loads of options from top manufacturers. Let's find out which mid-size truck could be a perfect match, whether you're off-roading, seeking luxury, or just cruising to the beach. First up, the 2024 Chevrolet Colorado. This truck stands out with its refined interior, strong towing capacity, and a range of powerful engines. Its Trail Boss and ZR2 trims are off-road beasts, while the ZR2 by Bison is the ultimate rock crawling champion. Price starting around 31000 the Colorado offers a mix of affordability and specialized capabilities. It's our top pick for the best mid-sized truck overall in America right now. Next, let's talk about the all-new Toyota Tacoma. Starting at 32000 it offers an impressive mix of power, torque, and configurability. The 2024 model brings a much-needed refresh with turbocharged engines and a hybrid option leading the pack. Its off-road capabilities and a quite refined ride make it a strong contender. Although it's on the pricier side, its segment's lead-in sales figures speak for their improvements. Moving on to the 2024 GMC Canyon, starting at around 37,000, it shares much of its DNA with the Chevy Colorado but caters to a more upscale market. The high-end AT4X, AEV, and the Denali trims offer a blend of off-road readiness and an ultimate luxury. It's a great choice for those who prefer a more premium experience in the mid-size truck. Let's not forget the 2024 Honda Ridgeline, priced from around 41000 It's the most car-like truck out there. Its unique body chassis provides a comfortable ride experience, and the innovative swing-out tailgate is a standout feature. The Ridgeline is perfect for those who want a truck that drives like an SUV but still offers practicability. And last but not least, the 2024 Jeep Colorado. Starting at around 40000 it's unique with its removable roof and doors, offering a true open-air experience. Its off-road design and strong towing capabilities makes it a rugged choice. However, its on-road performance and single-engine option may not appeal to everyone. And there you have it, our top picks for the best mid-size trucks of 2024. Whether you're prioritizing off-road capabilities, luxury, or a unique feature, there's a truck out there for you. Into the electrifying world of EVs will be focusing on the buzz around Tesla's Cybertruck on our next story. Big news for Tesla enthusiasts and the EV curious. The Tesla Cybertruck, that futuristic beast we've all been eagerly anticipating, has made a surprising appearance on Toro. That's right, you can now get behind the wheel of this electrifying Titan for a day. But hold on to your wallets because this experience comes with a hefty price tag of around a thousand a day. There are listings in both San Jose, California and Austin, Texas. Imagine cruising down the streets in an early version of the Cybertruck. Now here's something interesting. One listing in Texas 
seemingly from an employee of Tesla, offers a foundational series Tesla for $1,070 per day. And get this, your feedback from the rental goes directly to the Tesla team working on the Cybertruck. Talk about being part of the development process. But before you plan your off-roading adventures, remember, Botoro and the renters have put a no-go off-roading sticker on this. Safety first, folks. Another listing in San Jose for the first edition Cyber Beast model starts around 950 a day. If you're in San Francisco and fancy a go, it's just an extra 30 bucks for a change in the pickup location. Despite the hype, Tesla Cybertruck launch has been a bit of a slow burn. Deliveries to the first owner started back in November, but it's been trickled since then. Elon Musk himself warned about production complexities. For those who have had reservations and are now on the fence, especially after the final reveal of the price adjustments, this might be your chance to test drive before making that final decision. It's an exciting time in the EV world, and Cybertruck is just the tip of the iceberg. For the last car news of the day, we have an incredible important and timely topic in the world of motorsports. So buckle up, it's going to be an interesting ride. In the vast arena of professional sports, we've seen significant strides made towards closing the gender gaps, from soccer to basketball and even in football. But when it comes to Formula 1 racing, well, that's a different story. The journey for women to take their rightful place in the driver's seat of these high-speed machines is still fraught with challenges. And it's not just the small huddle we're talking about. We're facing a formidable match of wall in Formula 1 racing that's been standing there for years. It's a long road ahead, but it's a journey that's cruel to the evolution of this sport. Now, let's delve into a recent essay published in the Los Angeles Times titled will a woman ever race in formula one again this piece is isn't just a present day analysis it's a journey through history looking back at the women who defined norms as early as the 1900 the all women's team in the 1930s and the status of women in current racing series like indycar and formula one kevin bexter the author highlights the steps albert baby ones towards this goal he focuses on two remarkable women bianca bustamans and jamie chatwick these two are not just racers they're trailblazers challenging the status quo in the sport dominated by men. Put things into perspective. More women have orbited Earth than have driven in Indy or in F1 racing. That's a stat that's as astounding as it is disappointing, but change is on the horizon. Let's talk about the Formula 1 Academy. Launched in 2022, this all-female series is a beacon of hope. It's a platform for young talents from go-karting or junior categories aiming to pave their way to Formula 3 and eventually Formula 1. And there's more good news. Lindsay Brawl, an American trailblazer, is set to compete in the 14 race in the next series, making a significant step for women in racing. This isn't just about racing, it's about breaking barriers, challenging norms and driving change. The road ahead for women in Formula 1 might be long, but it's a road worth traveling. Thanks for joining me today and don't forget to like and subscribe for more car news, drive safe and keep pushing boundaries.